Happy Thursday, everyone. Are you looking for that perfect summer read? New York Times bestselling author of Something Borrowed, First Comes Love. Emily Giffen has a new one available now. As I mentioned earlier, I read it in two nights. It is a page turner. She stopped by to tell us more. Check it out. Emily, I am so glad you're here. This is an absolute page turner, and I'm not done yet. So as soon as the show's done, I'm gonna go home, sit on the couch, and, and uh, check back in. This is incredible. For anyone who is not familiar with the plot line of All We Ever Wanted, uh, tell everyone what it's about. Well, thank you so much, Christine. Uh, All We Ever Wanted is about Nina, a woman who is forced to choose between her family and her most deeply held values when her son is caught in um, a social media scandal that tears apart the community. Yeah, I will tell you, this really reads like a thriller. Um, and you're diving into some pretty heavy issues. We've got class, money, race. Um, was that intentional um, or is this something, I know sometimes sure, yeah. w when you're planning your next book, um, was it something that ignited in you just based mm -hmm. on what we're going through as a country, definitely, as a world? Definitely, definitely. You know, my books are very character driven, so I try to I read about very real people and real women and, and, and situations that we all can relate to. But of course, I think the environment and that we're all in right now, um, the, the issues of classism and sexism and racism certainly informed the environment around the story. Yeah, yeah. And, and really um, what captures me right away is something that we all do. We're always posting, but it's that one post that you don't think anything of and that you certainly can't take back, or in this case, not even a post, something that's shared, mm -hmm. and, and it is just uh, so prevalent. And, and you are so engaging, in a great way, on social media um, that I, I'm sure- So are you, I loved your post last night. Thank you, check out my Instagram. <laughs> I was catching up with my book and Caroline was doing some reading as well, Dork Diaries. Um, but w was that also something from all the things that you see, the positive and the negative, um, that really made you wanna well, sure. dive yes. more into what this means, the fact that we can just say anything at any time. I mean, I think social media has definitely become a part of our lives for better and for worse. Um, and there are some great things about it, but there's also a few risks involved. Obviously, the one that we see the pitfall in the book, but also I think there's um, a sense of maybe people trying to paint their lives a little too perfectly. Totally. And I think Nina deals with that struggle in the book of um, wondering if her life is you know, what she really wants it to be, or is she just sort of creating this, this perfect world? And uh, the pace and the plot, as I said, it really reads like a thriller. Did you do anything differently when it came to outlining or planning the, the twists and I the turns? I wish I had, <laughs> because I never outline. My books are very character driven, so very um, organic. I put the characters in these situations, and sometimes I, I even surprise myself as yeah. I write. But um, I think this one does have a little bit more suspense. Um, than, than some other books based on the stakes being so high. Exactly. For this, for this family. And uh, I like that you write uh, the three characters. Mm -hmm. right? That's uh, the voices that we hear. And I read that you really relate the most to the dad. Or is, is this the first time you've written this in is. a male voice? This is the first time I've written from a male perspective. And I was a little worried about it, but I loved it. And I really connected with him and some of his concerns as a father. Um, of too. course, Nina as well. And, and Lila, the beauty of writing in the first person is that you really get into the heads of these three very different characters. And I could relate to all of them in different ways, but right. certainly Nina's journey to, um, to try to be a good mother and a good person um, when she's faced with, am I being disloyal to the people I love the most? Right, right. Um, if I, if I you know, uphold my own values. It's, exactly. It's a dilemma that I think we all face in varying degrees of in our course. lives. And as a parent, you know, somebody, your, your child who you love unconditionally, but they make a bad choice. And mm -hmm. and how do you defend that? And, and where do you go, right? How do you, and where do you draw the line? Exactly. When, at what point do you say, you know, um, I'm not going to do every single thing to stand by my child. Right. At what point is that a disservice to them? Right. Um, you know, and so you have to wonder, is Finch a, a good person, that she raised a good person who made a mistake? Or is he fundamentally flawed in a way that she needs to address? Right. And I think we can all relate to that as a mother, but as, as parents, but also just as people. Right. Um, you know, we have to call people out in our lives sometimes, and it's very difficult. Or, or do we not? Do we stand by them right. and defend them no matter what? 
they're they're doing. Well, this is why you are so beloved all over the world, and <laughs> especially here in Atlanta, because your books Sweet. always, I mean, these characters are flawed, they're so relatable, and you really suck us in, because well, there's, a, there's a part of us uh, that we're like, oh gosh, I could see myself doing this, for better, for worse. And we gotta talk about your storylines, or your, your settings, your cities, because I love when it's Atlanta, and I love reading a book, going, oh, okay, I've, I've been there, I've been there. Nashville, why mm -hmm. that city, and what homework did you do for that. Sure, yeah. Would well, you do you like Nashville? I, I do. love Nashville. I do. I've only been twice, but it's amazing. You know, I really I would I would set all my books in Atlanta if I could. I I mean, I guess I could, but yeah. um, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. It, 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 Atlanta and Nashville are both very diverse cities. Yes. So you have, you know, your enclave here, you know, Buckhead, but then you have all these very different neighborhoods. And this really worked. Nashville really worked for all we ever wanted because Bell, Bell Mead is very Buckhead-esque. Yeah. And that's where the private school is. That's where this one family is. But then there's a grittier part of town, East Nashville. And I just think it's a, I think it's a charming, vibrant, beautiful city. And honestly, I try to pick places where I want to do a little research. Exactly. Sorry. Spend a little Sorry quality to the time. husband and kids, but I need to go on a research trip. Uh, exactly. With some girlfriends. And speaking of the kids, I know your daughter Harriet she is here. Is. I ask you this every time you come, but I still don't know them in awe of how you really balance it all. And, and every time, what do I say uh, back to you? Well, you say, I, do I? No. No, no, you <laughs> no. say, I say you do the same no, thing. No, I don't. Of course you do. We all do. You know, we all are doing the best we can, whether we're, you know, a part time working yeah. mother, stay at home mother. Um, you know, single, we're all just trying to get through this thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think it's really important to be empathetic to one another and help one another. And I think that's another um, inadvertent message in my book. I mean, I don't, never set out to write with a theme or a message, right. moral message involved, but it's, I think it's all about just putting ourselves in someone else's shoes. Yeah. And um, even when it's, when it's difficult to see their perspective, and I think that's something you know, that I that I try to do and all we ever wanted. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I cannot wait to finish it. Well, uh, please you. pick up a copy of All We Ever Wanted. And you can see Emily tonight at the Marcus Jewish Community Center of Atlanta for tickets, more information. It's gonna be so much it's fun. It's so much fun. She chat with, chats with you and Mara Davis will be there. Um, and the JCC about the really does the best they really do. book events. They're so fabulous. They're, they're, they're events. They're not just book signings. Yeah. So please come out, enjoy the wine, Light the food. Bites. Yes, Emily yes. will pre-sign some Girls copies. Night out or date night. Yeah, absolutely. It's emilygiffen.com for more on Emily or again, atlantajcc.org for more. Pick up a copy today. Thank you, Christine. We love seeing you. Yeah, love Thank seeing you. you.